Hi, my name is Yifan. I came from China and uh, Zhejiang University. Uh, I study mathematics and uh, I will be going to United States for graduate school in statistics like in, a in August. Well, I like a lot of things, music, um, yeah, music, different cultures and yeah, even if I cannot dance, but I like watching people dancing. Well, is that... So you're here at the right place in southern yeah, India, huh? I think so. Did you watch any dances yet here in Bangalore? Yeah, we watched two traditional dances. I um, mean, in the cultural evening and in the other event, we, we watched like two traditional, I think, southern Indian dance. That's really? what they call it. Okay. Yeah. okay. So we are here with the Malton uh, Foundation at the Global Citizen uh, Conference. What brought you here? How are you connected to Melton Foundation? Well, I first began to know Melton Foundation when I was still a high school student. So I go to one of the, I mean, social service project with some of the Melton Fellows. And uh, that's when I find not only the mission and the vision of Melton Foundation was something that interests me. The I mean, not, not, at that time it's not global citizenship, it's bringing positive change to the world, also a network of people. And that somehow interests me. And also it's like, there was like this very good, I mean, environment of, of friendship between the Mountain Fellows. And that's also what, it, I mean, intrigues me. That's why I applied to the Mountain Foundation after I, I started, I mean, after my first year in the university. And everything. Okay, stop. Oh, I have to. Yes. Somehow. Uh, <laughs> so, how is the process? You apply for a grant, or just tell us about the process. You mean the recruiting process? Yes. Okay. And basically, it's just you apply, you fill out a form, and then you have several interviews. And it depends on which campus you are in. I mean, like in our campus, it's like three rounds of interviews, and then they select the fellows. But now we, we kind of have like this, um, I mean, the global selection kind of process. So each campus selects like 10 to 15 candidates and the global selection team, they went through countries to country, campus to campus, and they have interviews with the candidates and they evaluate the candidates with a, with a, uni I mean, with a same standard and then they choose the fellows. Okay, so you are around here for three years now? Yeah, or? I think I'm here so around three years. What happened during this this period? Wow! <laughs> with you as being a, a Melton uh, fellow. fellow. Well, actually, a lot of things have changed. I mean, like your perspectives on different cultures. Sometimes, I mean, the the thing that we join Melton Foundation, we said we should break down the prototypes we have about different cultures. And what I actually learned from Melton Foundation is like the R. Some of the prototypes are true. And just you have what you learn is not to break down those prototypes, but to how to to learn from those things, to understand the person behind those prototypes, and to see I mean how they interact with each other. I mean sometimes like there was one example one by one of the fellows is like uh, when we're doing the work group online discussions, some fellows are really pushy. Like um, sometimes you're gonna find the Indian fellows are always like the leader in the project team. I like in the workshops, they push you things to get the job done. And sometimes people get a little bit, I mean, not that okay with that. But what, after you come to, I mean, what, after your face-to-face -face communications, you understand that the way, the, the reason why they do, do this is because this is the kind of culture they raised up. I mean, it's not like they, they want to do anything bad to you. And once you realize that, it makes intercultural communication actually possible. I think it's not actually breaking those prototypes, but it's realizing those prototypes and get and try to learn from it. And that's, I think, one big, biggest thing I learned from Melon Foundation. So this is your most important takeaway from the last three years? Mm, I wouldn't say that, but it's one of, one of the most important. I what mean, are the others? You have a different understanding about different cultures and also you reflect on, uh, I mean, on yourself. Like, before I actually got to know Chilean, I mean Chilean fellows, I didn't know the country, I didn't know how the people live there. But actually being there made me question whether the life that I have in China is the life kind of life I want. I mean, it, it just helps you open up everything. You will have those, those kind of ideas. You want to go out and study in different culture and try. Maybe that's the thing you want. I mean, 
So that's the really cool thing. So what are y your plans? Now you're going to, to the US to study there. Mm -hmm. And then, are you planning to go back? Do you have any um, ideas? So far, so far, I mean, I'm not sure. I mean, I haven't been to US to study like for a long time. I'm not sure. I mean, just um, like the plans I have is like, uh, I'm, I mean, in a PhD program, so it's like five years. Uh, yeah, five years of program, I will stay there. I will mean, have enough time to figure out whether that is the life I want or not. Oh, like that is the culture or, or the place I want to be. I mean, um, I think only after that I can figure out what I really want to do. If it's not okay, then I can, um, again, I might travel to another country, start a job there and try to figure out if that's what I want. And if I figure, I mean, somehow I find it's China is the place where I want to be, then I could be in China. Okay, so all the best for you. Thank you.